Okay, in a recent um, video tutorial, Avalor uh, suggested a way to um, bring Zara 3D animations into Flash. Um, whilst you can do it this way, I want to show you problems with it and uh, a, wor a possible workaround. Okay, so let's bring up my Zara 3D screen. There's a straightforward animation of a letter A. I go to File, Export Animation. I want to put it into this flash export swift save replace okay and that's it uh, exported okay so we now bring on flash and what I've done here um, whereas before I able to, uh, just imports it in and this is why he's suggesting you import the swift file back into uh, into flash I've already done that here um, so you can see there's the there's the animation in there um, what I want to show you more than anything else though is that on another layer in the background I'll put this blue rectangle to highlight the problem a bit and as you come along you start to see you get problems you get these lost faces um, which are a real pain when you export it because um, if you export it there that's what it looks like running through it's no good no, not very helpful at all that is it um, strangely enough if you look at the swift file itself um, just run it as a swift file directly from the uh, file manager you can see you get a very smooth um, animation with very few with no lost faces at all there um, so how to do it it's quite simply you just get one um, f open a flash page just give it one one um, frame and in that frame of because it's difficult to show you the frames actually here in that frame action there I've got this load movie number flash export swoof on to layer 5 and when we go into that one and do a a test they now have a nice clean looking animation without all the lost faces uh, so I think that's a far better way than this way with all these lost faces you get far too many lost faces on that okay hope you think hope that helps thanks very much